H. Wallace Gale, 1842-1863. He was 21 years old when he died. The son of Gardner Gale and Louise Williams Gale. H. Wallace Gale served as a soldier in the Civil War and is said to still be walking the grounds around the Bolo Antique Mall. Experiences of guests and workers have happened so often that the Discovery Channel's now ended Ghost Lab series had decided to investigate the claims. H. Wallace Gale grew up in an old farmhouse next to where the Bolo Antique Mall now sits. He starved to death in Tennessee while serving in the Civil War, and some say he now haunts the property. Over the years, mall visitors have reported seeing a young boy staring at them from outside the window on the fourth floor. Others claim to have seen perfume bottles floating in the air and images of a soldier sitting on old furniture, listening to a music box. His burial is at the Bolo Cemetery, Wakanda, McCallie, Illinois, USA. H. Wallace Gale, his battle unit name, 92nd Regiment, Illinois Infantry, Side, Union, Company D. The 92nd Regiment, Illinois Infantry, was organized at Rockford, Illinois, and mustered in September 4, 1862. It mustered out at Concord, North Carolina, the 21st of June, and discharged at Chicago, Illinois, July 10, 1865. As you walk toward the grave of the Civil War soldier at the Bolo Cemetery, you may just feel a burst of cold wind. Wallace Gale, it is said, haunts the Bolo Antique Mall, which is right next to the Bolo Cemetery. The building that houses the mall is owned by the Graves family and was once a dairy barn built in 1884 by the Gale family. Wallace Gale, who grew up on the property in an old farmhouse next door to the barn, was starved to death in Tennessee while serving in the Civil War. His body was returned to the homestead for burial, and you can see the tombstone from a window in the antique mall. As I said over the years, mall visitors have reported seeing the face of a young boy staring at them from outside the window on the fourth floor. Others have claimed to see perfume bottles floating in the air and the image of a soldier. The whole Graves family has had unexplained experiences since they purchased the property more than half a century ago, said Lisa Santiago. Brian Graves and an uncle now live in the 1850s farmhouse where Wallace H. Gale lived. Graves, his own parents, and Lisa Santiago have lived in the house as well, and they say they have experienced spooky occurrences there. Meanwhile, Brian Grams, who owns and manages the Bolo Water Museum, which is also on the property, said he has never experienced any ghostly happenings there. His mother, Myra Grams, said her first ghostly experience in the farmhouse was before Brian was born. She went to the bathroom one night, in the middle of the night, turned on the light, and noticed a black figure out of the corner of her eye. She went back to bed with her husband still asleep. In the morning, she said, he told her he had seen a black figure standing at the end of the bed that night. And once, when she was home alone in her bed, she said she would feel the bed go down a bit, as if someone were sitting on it. At family gatherings, relatives would tell similar tales before having heard Myra's experience. Brian said when he was growing up in the house, TVs would turn on and off, lights would turn on and off. He would just think of it as radio waves. The house is set up as a duplex. Brian said his family lived on the main level and they would have relatives who would come and go upstairs at different times. He said, everyone has said it is haunted. They've seen things. Brian Grimm said, 
He could not get any of his friends to spend the night when he was growing up. But he added, there has never been anything bad that's happened. It doesn't seem like the ghost is out to harm anybody. The family, employees, and visitors to the mall kept their alleged haunt grounds a bit of a secret until the Discovery Channel's now ended Ghost Labs learned about it. According to the show, a shadowy figure was captured on film sitting on some furniture inside the mall. The shadowy figure, some say, was the ghost of H. Wallace Gale. It was televised in November of 2009. The show prompted more guests, workers, and family to come forward with more ghost stories. And since then, mall visitors have seen in photos and stories of creepy experiences, mostly at the mall and the grounds nearby, including stories of white dogs walking through mirrors, dolls found in strange places, and a boy peering through the fourth floor window from the outside. Santiago said she thinks the ghost likes the mall because of all the antiques. One woman said she saw a young man sitting in a rocking chair in the mall, listening to a music box, and dressed in a soldier's uniform. When she went to get her husband, and they returned, there was no music box, no man. One of the spookiest stories Graham has heard involved a truck driver delivering cars to the Ono Museum, who had never been to the mall before, and had never heard anything about it being haunted. He pulled in about 11 o'clock at night and was going to spend the night in the lot in front of the mall. Graham said 20 minutes later, he backed out and drove off. He said he saw somebody in a trench coat walking through the parking lot, and when he asked if it was okay if he slept there, the guy in the trench coat walked right through the walls into the barn. Graham added that the truck driver had told him he always slept with the Smith and Wesson, but there is no way he was going to stay in that parking lot that night. Recently, according to Santiago, the customer said she was looking into a mirror and felt a cold, bony hand on her arm. An oil painting dropped to the floor and got a big gash in it and broke other items in its path. He had become so inquisitive about the haunted antique mall that Graham's created a train ride as a bonus to those who visit the Volo Auto Museum. The 45-minute rides, free with paid admission, operate on weekends through October 30th. Riders hear stories about the ghost and get dropped off by the mall, where they are led into a small theater where a facsimile of a soldier's tomb is encased. They hear crackling noises, they see a figure projected onto the screen, which Graham's created for some scary fun during the Halloween season. Graham's doesn't believe in ghosts, he said, although he admitted some of the happenings on his family property are difficult to explain. Either you are a believer and it intrigues you, Graham said, or you were a skeptic and it still intrigues you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more.